name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Gen Con Online. I'm sitting here with Florin Benet from Blue Orange Games, and you've brought us the latest in the King Domino family. So this is Dragnomino or Dragomino. Yep. We were just discussing how yeah. you pronounce it, and the answer is however you want. <laughs> <laughs> and this is specifically designed to be a younger children's entry into the King Domino family. Yeah, exactly. Uh, much more um, entry level into strategy, into the whole domino slash tile building game. Um, we have an interesting lineup on who designed this game. Obviously, Bruno Cathala was really involved in it. Um, you know, he's the obviously the inventor of the whole King Domino series and all the games that we made up based on King Domino. But we also had um, um, Mary and Wilfried Ford involved in this game, and they've had a lot of success lately on the in the kids game uh, category. So those two to get those two together put their you know brain together and uh, came up with Dragomino, which is uh, super exciting for us. Yeah, and why don't you take us through? We can actually play a couple turns because this is a, not surprisingly, a really simple game to learn, uh, as all the King Domino games are. So take us through. What are we trying to accomplish in drag, Dragonomino? Dragonomino. Dragonomino. <laughs> uh, so in Dragonomino, we're also trying to score points. And to do that, we're going to have to build a kingdom, um, just like King Domino, but in a much simpler way. Um, the layout is pretty similar. The size of the dominoes are the same. We have different types of field, just like in King Domino, and you have four opens in the middle for people to look at and, and potentially grab on their turn, right? So each player, uh, two to four player game, each player starts with the their main tile. You can see there's like four around the table, and on your turn you're going to pick a domino um, and, and add it to your kingdom. So I'm understanding we have two players right now playing the game. Is that correct? Two players in the studio, yes. Awesome. So if anyone wants to go ahead and start, they can pick a domino and they can add it to their kingdom by matching at least uh, one half of each Oops. domino. So it doesn't have to match in drag domino. Obviously, we wanted to make it more simp simpler than the other one. So it doesn't have to match, but matching is going to help you score points. That I will explain in a minute. Um, okay, well, so like here we had someone pick a what? domino, they, we have one match, so what you can do if you have a match is that you can pick one of the eggs that's of the same color, and so that will be uh, the yellow one, yep, and then you turn it around, and I don't know if it's turned or not, so I don't see if it's, it's either going to be a baby dragon, like this one, perfect, or it's going to be a broken eggshell. Baby dragons, you're going to place it between the two, uh, on the domino that you actually matched. You, pl you place it on the domino, right in the middle, perfect. Baby dragon that you flipped over are going to be worth one point to you at the end of the game. And if you flip an eggshell, that will be worth no points. But the eggshell will also bring the mother dragon to you, which will help you start on the next turn. So... The mother dragon always goes to the last player drawing an eggshell. So right now, since you started, you will still have it, and then it will be the next player's turn, picking uh, out of those three dominoes. Okay. Um, so same thing. Pick one of the uh, of the eggs. That's a point. If not, that's a, that's a, that's nothing. But you get the mummy dragon. There is not the same amount of dominoes per uh, mm. types of field and there's not the same amount of eggs however oh, each dragon. color of eggs have seven baby dragons hidden so a little bit of strategy because you still want to kind of go for the um, for the types of field that has the least amount of eggs in order to have a better chance at finding a baby dragon worth points at the end yeah, it's an so interesting, now, sneaky way to introduce player. kids to probability that the the red yeah. dragons are more likely to have, the red eggs are more likely to have dragons in them because there's less of them. Oh, it's just yours. Pick you. Exactly. Exactly. Because oh. there's seven baby dragons underneath each color. And again, you don't have to match when you place a domino. You don't have to, you're not restricted by making like a three by three or four by four. Uh, you really build your kingdom the way you want, but matching dominoes is the only way you can get uh, to pick a, a, an egg and potentially get points if you pick a baby dragon. Uh, and there is a broken and, shell. 
There's a so broken shell. Oh, that's a broken shell. Okay. So, yeah. so she, she, she keeps the dragon, dragon, right? And then you keep the mother dragon. Yeah. Once there's no more dominoes in the middle, you just replenish with putting four new ones, and then you keep going taking turns. Two to four players. Players go clockwise, and you play until all the dominoes are gone. Now, what age range do you think is sort of the your your target zone for uh, that you were aiming for? So, uh, Drug Amino says five plus. I believe that four plus would be would be good. They can start playing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's also a matching game. Um, yeah. There's a little bit of strategy involved, but it's mostly about matching. Um, so I'll say four. I'll, I'll say four is a good age to to start playing it. And I think it's worth mentioning too that if you place a domino in such a way that you actually matched mm. up oh, yeah. and made a larger area, that you would in fact get two eggs drop you know on that same turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Because yeah, if you if you if your domino matches with two uh, sides, you you would get to pick two eggs. Which I think Which would also be right here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go, Lincoln. Lincoln makes totally keep made that, that darn thing. <laughs> And Lincoln, I think one of those was an empty shell, correct? So yeah, two you were the of those. Most okay. Recent person. Yeah. yeah, you were the most recent person to draw that, so you get to keep the mama dragon. Okay, now, so there's a variation that that can be added. It's just an extra simple simple rule. Some dominoes have a little lake on them, um, a pond or a lake, depending on how you want to see it. And so when you pick one of those styles and match this one with one on your kingdom. Um, you get to lift up two eggs and pick which one you want to get. So that's another extra chance at nice. finding a big dragon. Hmm. Just a little now, incentive also, to pick uh, some tiles over others. There's not the restriction to stay within a, a five by five grid like no, there is in the no, original game, correct? No, no. The, the, we, we, we didn't want uh, little ones to, to feel frustrated with that whole five by five. That's, that's really more of a strategy in King Domino and we wanted to make it you know, it's more about the matching and the trying to find the, the cute little dragons and, um, yeah. Oh, I like that. Lincoln got another double one off of that. It is, yeah, it's, it's uh, looking good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, because I connected there and I kind of go there. There you go. Well, now, if you were playing this with three players, would you just discard the, that last tile? So if the three out of the four tiles are getting drawn, and you would, you would just discard that, that fourth one? No, you replenish. You replenish, you put in another three. Uh, there's always always four in the middle. Uh, and you play until all the tiles are gone, pretty much. So, um, yep. Because you guys are more than two-thirds of the way done. Not all good decisions, however. <laughs> <laughs> so when you pick between two, you don't have you can just keep it to yourself when you're looking at them. You don't have to show them mm. face up to everyone. So if I do this? edge on the other player. Yeah, right there. Shell. Oh shell. What the shell? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey, look at that. Mm -hmm. Dun dun. Wow, nice. Three. Right. And that. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Yeah. I'm sorry. These two, right? No, it's only two. Yeah. Just oh, no, two. right here, right here. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. three. <laughs> and a shell. Well, you start. Okay. I got your back, Nikki. <laughs> that's that, that's, that's right, Um Yeah, so it looks let's, neat. Well, while they're finishing out their last turn, if they care to, uh, why don't you talk a little bit about how people can get their hands on this if they love the way this looks? Uh, well, so dra we just received Dragomino, I think, uh, something like Monday this week. So it's we, we're shipping it now, but we just started shipping it. Um, it's going to be available in any, I mean, any game store, uh, uh, 
that 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 you can think of. Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna become really accessible anytime soon. Now it's uh, probably in, in transit as we speak across the country, but it is fairly new, uh, as new as this week. So um, we wish we could have showcased it in Indianapolis, but uh, we had to, you know, uh, do it differently, <laughs> and uh, that's what we're doing. So. Well, Lauren, thank you again for uh, generously donating some of your time and uh, allowing us no, to do a quick uh, demo here of, of Dragonomino. Um, <laughs> and I wish you a very happy Gen Con. <laughs> <laughs>